A G-protein coupled receptor, or GPCR, is a transmembrane protein that activates a G-protein. The G-protein, in turn, activates another membrane protein, which, in turn, triggers a cellular response or activates a second messenger. The G-protein is so named because it has a GTP or GDP attached to it. GTP is functionally and structurally like ATP, except with a guanine instead of an adenine nitrogen base. In its inactive state, a GDP is attached to the G protein. It is activated when the GDP is replaced with a GTP. GPCRs comprise the largest family of signal receptors. They include receptors for vision, taste, airborne signals, hormones, neurotransmitters, and immune system activity. Many pharmaceuticals are GPCR ligands. G protein coupled receptor receives a signal. A specific messenger ligand binds to the outward facing surface of the receptor. The G protein coupled receptor activates the G protein by exchanging a GTP for a GDP. As a result of the ligand binding to the GPCR, a conformational change occurs, activating the GPCR. The activated GPCR, in turn, exchanges a GTP for the GDP on a nearby G protein. A GTP is now bound to the G protein. The subunit of the activated G protein binds to a membrane effector protein, which is usually an enzyme activating it. Then, the effector protein, which is now activated by the bound G protein, elicits a cellular response. If the effector protein is the transmembrane protein enzyme phospholipase C, the enzyme cleaves a membrane phospholipid PIP2 to generate two second messengers IP3 and DAG. DAG, the lipid portion of PIP2, remains embedded in the membrane while the soluble IP3 moves into the cytoplasm. A second messengers IP3 and DAG initiate a variety of cellular responses depending upon the cell type. In many cells, IP3 triggers the transport of calcium ions across membranes. IP3 binds and activates receptor proteins in membranes of the smooth ER to release CA2 plus into the cytoplasm. Afterwards, the CA2 plus goes on into more cellular work. <laughs> 